This short video shows you about the rocket words. Look at the different colors and the types. I have here my bird dog, the set from John McLinden. John, excellent work, you did fantastic. But I really don't like the wooden warheads. They are good enough, okay, yeah. But I wanted to have them perfect looking because they, sorry, look really cheap and are very heavy. I spent a lot of money uh, to make a positive and negative uh, model and then to produce everything in carbon fiber. The models are heated to have the best quality of carbon fiber and as you can see here uh, we have done really a lot of work. It is only possible to make uh, two rocket warheads a day and because there are so many steps uh, and it's really really hard uh, to say uh, you can produce more uh, maybe four, but more or less, I think with two per day, it is enough. Here you can see the model uh, on the next day after he has been producing them. And we are now opening the model to see how the quality of the warhead is. Yeah, here it is. And the next side. And now look. Clack. Here it is. <laughs> Fantastic looking yeah, and Sharp edges, carbon yeah, fiber inside, very light, very stable. They are almost uh, perfect. They look so real, uh, you can have troubles with the custom. This here is my first set that I've made for myself. I took it to Burgos because I wanted that Rick Shoop, the forward air controller, signs it. And here it is. Doesn't it look fantastic? That was one of the major problems I hated. That they were always shaking and you can easily move them. Even when they're screwed or when they're not screwed. Uh, look, this one here, it is screwed. But as you can see, you can still move it. And I really didn't like that. And so from time to time, one, they were not parallel. One was a little bit up, one was a little bit down, or a little bit to the left or right. Uh, that's why I made the decision uh, to make new ones. I recently painted my rocket warheads uh, in a different color. I don't want to have the same as all the others, so I decided to make the original blue color for the warheads. And I did a lot of work, as you can see here, uh, the ignition system and everything is painted even all the letters here are painted and inside as you can see is all carbon fiber they are very light and very good the main thing is that in the in the in the lower part like here uh, that you don't use uh, a lot of color because they are very tight you can see them soon when i'm going to fix them okay procedure two we are going to fix it on the bird dog even the painting, as you can see here, there are a lot of steps and a lot of colors with the letters. But at the end, if you want something perfect, it takes time. Just a compare between the new rockets now and the old ones. Here you have a sticker. This is all painted. And look how sharp all the edges are. There's no compare. So now after unscrewing I can I can easily remove the, the rockets one and two. I now already put in the new rocket and now look at this. Nothing. Nothing and there is no rivet, they are not screwed. Even now it's 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 almost impossible to put it out it's really uh, a 100% fitting let's now see about the difference this is all in kilogram so two rockets of the original ones have 1.42 kilogram if we now do the same with our carbon fiber rockets 
we have 305 gram. So this is more than one kilo ten difference. So on four rockets you have two kilo difference, but these are not the, the lightest ones. We made already much, much stronger ones. Here they are now on my wing. I used one of the first production series. They are a little bit heavier uh, than the new ones uh, we make now, but uh, from outside they are the same and they are absolutely perfect. Just drill a hole and then put the rivet inside. As you can see it is a standard rivet. Uh, about the length it should be more than half inside. So put it inside. And squeeze it. That is a big problem. And now installing the right ones. See how tough they go inside? shaking at all. Everything is shaking but not the system. And if you want it not so tighten, uh, strap here some paper and don't put any paint on it. Now just put two standard rivets inside, two on the low side and two on the upper side, and that's it. The other thing is you can also uh, make the same with wood. So it would like to, to, put, to put some wood on the, on the other side of the, of the uh, rocket tubes, but uh, I prefer the, the rivets <laughs> because uh, it's more than enough. Not, not even with force, now you are almost unable to bring them out. Okay guys, <laughs> hope you liked it. Compared with the, the other rockets, they look really cheap. These ones, they look original and uh, I really love them and everyone else also does. So take your chance, get them and save a lot of weight. Maybe you'll never need two, two and a half kilos is sounds not much. But when the runway is short, the weather is hot and you have a high density or high altitude. Uh, believe me, two and a half kilos can be a lot. And for our friends of the FBI and CIA, guys relax, these are dummy rockets, they are made of carbon fiber, have no high explosives or whatever inside. We just want to make sure that the publics will never forget what the forward air controllers did in Vietnam and how they fought for our country and for freedom.